Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. Always hopes. Always perseveres. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7 and 13. Uh, the beautiful love chapter from 1 Corinthians 13, and this is maybe the most famous part of it. The sort of thing we would hear at a wedding. The sort of thing that hopefully we think about on a day like Valentine's Day. As we consider this week wrapping to a close, and that when our next week begins, it will be Holy Week, that what we consider is the very love of Christ that we will see, that is genuine, it is faithful, it is steadfast, it is sacrificial, and it is true. Biblical love is a verb. It's not just about our feelings, it's about our faithfulness, it's not just about our emotions, it's about our commitments, and there on the cross, there all week long of Holy Week, we will see the love of Christ.